What's up guys and welcome to the vlog. I'm on lunch right now. It's like 3 30 uh, I'm getting ready to head back in here in a second. It is February the 13th I'm thinking that in order to avoid maybe some of the crowds me and Tracy may go out tonight if my mom comes up I don't think she's coming out until 7 though. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on, but I think we are going to do that a lot of times on uh, Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day. We usually don't do anything on Valentine's Day because of how crowded it is um, out, which a lot of people have started doing stuff around Valentine's Day too. And I'm not even saying we like celebrate it like a lot of people do and stuff, but uh, you know, we, we still like to hang out and stuff like that. Uh, and we'll see what is going on. Hopefully we can go out tonight because I hate big giant crowds and uh, that would just be better for me. The only problem is a lot of the local restaurants, like the Villa, and I mean, some of these other restaurants, I think uh, like Big Whiskey, I think Portobello's is open, but a lot of the local restaurants have Mondays closed. Um, like a lot of local restaurants close on Mondays, I guess, to give their employees a day off and whatnot and the owners and stuff. So I don't know. Uh, we will see how it goes, but I'm gonna head back into work here in just a few and uh, we will catch you here in a bit. Yay, we're home. Ready to see somebody. Somebody told me that you haven't been the best baby today, that you've just been okay. Is that true, drool face? Huh? <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, we are not going to go out for Valentine's today, I don't think. Uh, my mom's not going to come up until like 7. We don't want to go out super late, so we're just going to stay here, hang out, and eat some food. What are you doing? Fighting with his feet. Uh, so we're just gonna stay in and like I said eat some stuff probably just hang out uh, Yeah, I don't know what else going on. I think my buddy Justin's coming up today probably watch a movie of sorts Maybe I guess depending on what time he gets here because uh, I still want to try to get in bed a little bit early So yeah, we're gonna hang out and eat <laughs> What is that noise buddy? Do patty cake with him. He doesn't care about it right See now. if he cares. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me cake as fast as you can. Oh, put it in the pan. Nope. Nope. He did earlier. Man, he used to lose his he junk did, he, doing that. He did but earlier. I'm trying to get it on film. I don't think I've showed anything in here in the vlog, have I? I don't think. I don't think so. He usually loses I it with patty cake. I wish you could have saw him earlier. Really? He was nuts. Was he? We'll catch it one day and show you guys. Keeping with the theme of Valentine's Day, are you fit to be on camera for me to show you every once in a while? You're not. Tracy's being stubborn. But anyway, keeping with the theme, there was one time me and Tracy uh, were going to go out and eat on Valentine's Day. Actually, it wasn't one time. We've literally done that every year. One of the times that we were doing it, though, it snowed really bad, and we had a gift card for what was that place called? Nuna's? Numa's? Yeah, Nona's? Nona's Italian, Kitchen. Italian Kitchen in Princeton. And... We had set up a reservation and stuff like that, and we were going out because we had a $25 gift card from there. Uh, $20 or $25. 20 or $25 gift certificate from there. And, like, when we went to go, it was snowing so bad. Normally, I don't mind to drive in the snow, but once I get to the highway and the highway is super bad, then I have an issue with it, especially when you can't see the lanes. It just freaks me out a little bit, like, especially on the highway. I just, I, I don't know. But anyway, so we ended up staying here. Uh, we went to a local, a local restaurant like a couple minutes away called Portobello's and we ended up losing that gift certificate because that place closed. Uh, we never got to go. So we just have $20 in Nona's Italian Grill or whatever Italian kitchen gift cards just that's, floating around. That's the website that you get the food gift certificates from? I don't know. Restaurants.com maybe. It was from restaurants.com. They credited me and I can get another gift certificate. I just haven't. Oh. Tracy ended up, I didn't know this, Tracy got it from restaurants.com, restaurants I guess. Oh, it was through CVS, wasn't it, when you worked there? It was part of the rewards thing. Anyway, Tracy got on restaurants.com and told them that place shut down. And they ended up refunding her, and I think we got a different gift card or something. So, But still, it was kind of funny. Like We were going to go there and use that gift card, and then we never got to, and the place closed down. Sad stuff. Let's keep with the Valentine's Day theme, simply because I'm not really doing a whole lot today, and I still I want to give you maybe guys some stories. That way you can at least be slightly entertained. Um, last year, me and Tracy went to a place called the Villa for Valentine's Day. Right? Was it last year? And uh, so we went there because Tracy loves pasta. I may have talked about this before, but. Tracy loves pasta, and I love hamburgers. And we went there, it was actually the weekend before, because like I said, we don't celebrate Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day. We generally go out and eat around that to avoid the traffic. And one time, uh, we when we went there, 
I was like, cool, I'll take a hamburger. And they're like, we're only doing pasta. Like they, oh, I think that was, two years ago, was it two years ago? Yeah. They refused to do hamburgers around Valentine's Day. I guess you have to eat limited, pasta. They had a limited, they had a limited and, and like I understand the point of it yeah, it's because it was to make it easier on them. They could have it ready to go and stuff like that. But it was still frustrating because the reason we decided to go there was so Tracy could get her pasta, and I could get my hamburger. But whatever. This year, we haven't decided what we're gonna do this year, have we? We thought about there's a new restaurant in Taswell called the seven what's it Not called seven, seven. it's just, just seven i knew it was something like that i'm thinking about trying i don't know it probably won't i doubt it'll be tomorrow i don't know we'll see but anyway yeah another valentine's day story for you guys the other reason i'm doing valentine's day stories today is because you guys will see it on valentine's day this is the precursor to valentine's day for us it's 13th but you guys will see it on the 14th and i thought that would be smarter than having it the day after right makes sense cool you seem way calmer now that you're just laying down, buddy. Are you just tired of people holding you? Is that what it is? Are you tired of people holding you, little boy? Huh? Yeah. He's been a little bit fussy, but apparently at what age is he? I mean, Jesus Christ. Is it around this time when they go through they, what's called a leap, right? Developmental leap. A developmental leap. And I think we think he may be going through that because he's been a little bit fussy over the last couple of days. So, But I'm fixing him a bottle right now. Hopefully that'll calm him down. We shall see. So I just got done watching a movie called Almost Mercy um, with my buddy Justin. He was here. He actually recommended it. And it was super good. Um, basically, the story, it starts out with these two like kids. Uh, it's like a, a boy and a girl. And they become friends when this boy moves to town. And they basically become friends and it's kind of like the first 15 or so minutes is about them becoming friends and realizing that they're perfect to be friends together because they're both kind of insane it's kind of a i don't know what genre i would put it in because it's not really horror but like it's not like drama i don't i don't know i guess maybe horror might be the best way to describe it even though it's not but anyway so they become friends and then like the rest of the movie is them as adults and it's really really cool there's a lot of really cool uh things basically they're like bullied really bad and it's like them kind of like potentially enacting revenge on people uh, kane hodder's in it if you're into horror kane hodder's in it that's all i gotta say i guess um so it, it's got him in it uh i didn't really recognize any of the other actors i don't recognize their names or anything uh i don't i don't even remember when it was made honestly but it's on netflix you should check it out like i said it's called almost mercy um the the problem with the movie is and not not a problem is in a negative thing but like it's hard to explain the plot point without giving away the story. Like, something happens in the movie and it would be the, what you would think would be the commonsensical ending, like, okay, this is what's gonna happen, and then it doesn't, and then, like, something else bigger happens. Um, so it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, but I just wanted to say, um, I'm starting to get back into watching movies. I said in a vlog a little while ago, I was going to start trying to watch a little, some movies and stuff again. And uh, that one just happened to come up, and or my buddy Justin recommended it. Very, very good. Definitely check it out. Almost Mercy. Um, yeah, I, I really, really liked it. Now, with every positive thing, there are a few negatives. Uh, the only thing I thought um, that was bad, and I, would, I wouldn't honestly dock the movie points for this, like, because, you know, if you're out there making a movie, then kudos to you. Um, the acting... Honestly, it was pretty good. There were a couple of lines of dialogue that may come off just a touch cringy or like seem kind of forced, you know what I mean? Um, but other than that, man, I can't. I didn't really see any other issues. Like, lighting issues were fine. I mean, it was a low budget film, so any of the lighting was fine. The editing seemed to be on par. The soundtrack to it was amazing. It was super awesome. Um, but yeah, just maybe a couple of things with the. Uh, with the dialogue, uh, especially from Kane Hodder's character. Of course, Kane Hodder's not like a fantastic actor. Uh, I mean, he rules in the horror community as Jason Voorhees, and you know, he I, I loved him in Hatchet as um, Victor Crowley, maybe. Anyway, um, but overall, yeah, definitely check the movie out. That's all I'll say about that. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I kind of took it a little bit easy today. I figured I would tell a couple of Valentine's Day stories since Valentine's Day is tomorrow slash today when you guys are watching um, because they're kind of funny stories. I don't really have anything else to go on. Um, and then I don't know I don't know what the rest of the week is going to hold as far as for me and Tracy. I don't know when we are going to 
Um, I don't know when we are going to go out. I don't know what the plans are, honestly. I know that Wednesday we'll go to church. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the rest of the week holds. So definitely stay tuned and see what's going on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you guys have an awesome Valentine's Day today. Um, if you you know if you go out and stuff, be careful and just have a fun time, man. That's what it's all about. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Uh, thank you for the continued support. I am going to be trying to do another live stream in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. And thank you guys. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.